Hey guys, welcome to Helton's Computer Repair. Today I'll be showing you how you can clean up your computer using CCleaner. I had a video in the past that shows you how to install it, how you can download and install it, and now I'm going to be showing you how you can clean it. Now this computer I'm showing you is a very clean computer. It may not have that much files there because it's just a virtual system. But just for the rest I'll be showing you how to use CCleaner. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's CCleaner if you don't have it installed again just down from the link that I'll give here on this video and go ahead and run the file. By default it has this option you want to analyze it. You can also just go to the custom scan. I'm going to go ahead and show you that the analyze is there and I'll see if it finds any files on my computer. It's going to be a surprise to me because this is a virtual computer. It found 67 trackers and 277 megabytes of junk. You can press options to clear all, but instead I'm actually going to show you the customs claim. Here you have lots of advanced features. I'm going to leave the default settings are, but you have options you want to like remove your password, saved cards, saved information. You have lots of additional stuff. Recent documents can be cleared out. You can disable desktop shortcuts you don't want them on there. You can delete old prefix data. If you know these features right here, Windows event logs. This is mostly an IT end right here. You don't have to be a tech. Then you know what I'm talking about. You also have the options on programs like Firefox. You want to remove their programs, their preferences. You have the same thing on Chrome. You can uninstall the Bing news applications that are just installed here. And a little bit more features on this end by just going to the easy clean. So I'm going to go ahead and analyze again, showing on this one. And here's the exact same amount of files. And you can just simply go into applications and should get the exact amount. After that, you're going to choose the run cleaner. And I'll probably prompt you for this. I'm going to go ahead and press continue and let it do its work. So it pretty much only found 285 megabytes on here. Again, this is a very clean computer. Most people on your computer might go up to like a couple gigs, probably even more. After you've uninstalled the temporary files from the browsers and stuff like that, you can go to the registry files. You can scan for issues and look at found some on my computer, basically missing DLL files or registry files that are there. I didn't have too much there. And most of the time, I really don't back this up, but for safe reason, I'm going to go ahead and press the fix selection issues, and I will be trying to back it up. I'm going to go ahead and save it in the documents in case I ever need to put these registry files back. All I would pretty much do is go to documents, run the file, and everything gets restored. And here's the 76 files. I'm not going to go one by one. That's going to take forever. I'm just going to press fix all selected issues and they are now removed. After that you can go to tools and let's say you had additional programs that you don't want on your computer. You can simply just choose which ones you don't want and uninstall it. It's that simple. Other cool features is that it has software updaters. So if you have programs that needs to be updated, it will have the stability right here. I don't really have any additional ones there. It doesn't have the list. I don't have any programs. All I have is pretty much just Firefox, Google Chrome, and CCleaner here. And then here's the startup options. Right here is if you have a list of programs that you have here. Like I have OneDrive in background technically, I do not need OneDrive on here, so I'm going to go ahead and disable it. And see what else I can judge. I have VirtualBox right there, I need that. I don't need to have the security hell tray on Windows right there, I don't need it. So I'm going to go ahead and disable that too. Lots of times CCleaner likes to stay in background. If you don't want CCleaner to run on startup, you can ignore it too and disable it. You have additional files for going to schedule task. You can delete the files if you don't want them to do. Some of these files are to keep updates, like on Windows Google updates. These are from OneDrive to get updates. I'm going to go ahead and disable it. You can also delete it, but I kind of started deciding to just disable it to see if I ever need to re pretty much restore and enable in that file. You have contents menus that are there and goes into services that you can disable if you don't want them. That goes into very depth onto tech and and if there's plugins for different browsers, you can pretty much select ones you don't want. Like, I do not need the vast. That's one of the pain in the butt ones. Let me just go ahead and delete it. Oh, it's saying it's protected by the browser. 
Can I disable it? So this one I would actually have to go physically on Google Chrome to go there. And there's more into Disk Analyzer. You can see we can go to duplicate files if you're looking for stuff like that. You can go to System Restore, but technically Windows 10 by default has the System Restore disabled. And also you have drives that you don't want, you can select it, but that is your own responsibility. And it goes into more stuff like this if you want it to be customized about, you get the rest. I'm not going to go into depth on this, this is your choice. You also have options to upgrade, I'm not going to, but that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I'll see you on our next video. Thanks for watching guys, if you just like this video then hit that button, but if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button, get subscribed, comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description, and for the rest I will see you on the next video.